My name is Florence Blois. I was born here in the log house with three midwives. It was really good on the farm. We were kids, we can be kids and do anything as kids. We had both chores to do outside and inside. Feeding the ducks, I remember that. Hauling hay, skinning beaver with my dad and muskrats. We did all that, it was such a skill that we learned finally. Until we went to residential school, that changed our lives. It really changed our lives because mom would say, how come are they t they're taking our kids? And she'd cry. I could see, I could hear, and I could feel the parents just went away in soul, mind, because they didn't have their kids anymore. They couldn't understand why. And it really hurt families. Come. Come on, boy. Come on. I'm not an alcoholic. I never smoked dope because of what I seen around me. It taught me a lesson. And I seen that with all the other parents. They medicate themselves with drugs and alcohol. In those days, it was homebrew, boozing. They couldn't handle it. The role was taken away from them as being a, a male protector, the mother as the keeper of all children in their home. Those were all stripped, including our language, and our language speak to us from the earth, from the birds, from the universe. So it's huge. Hey, come on, my boy. Little boy, come on. A sister came along when I was in grade eight. We used to say the rosary every day, which was fine. But after a while, it becomes just ritual in mind and thought, and you don't even think about it anymore, not really internalizing, you know, the meaning of the prayer. Because our dad taught us that. You can go and pray anywhere. You can go up the hill over here. You'll be with your God. And you don't need fancy clothes. You can go there with clothes that are all mended. And he'll be with you. And our mom was a churchgoer forever. We know her as a woman of prayer. How could I not believe? Yeah, you look after my ponies every day. Keep from farm. Native people, you know, here's something I've always known. Nobody really had to teach us to pray. We always did pray. We always did celebrate. Life, death, living, whatever. In the morning when I pray, I always give thanks for seeing another beautiful day and giving thanks to see my kids again. And my kids are well, they're doing okay, you know. I love them. I know they're being then I pray for the community. I think about all the issues we're dealing with. I think about all the good stuff we're doing. Be the liking of Jesus. What did he do? I always go back to the five fish. You can feed a lot of people with five fish. Or it be it with the mind, soul, physical, your whole being. It nourishes. You come into the light and start living your life and what you were meant to be that's your purpose